Only me. I'm not controversial. I'm controversial. And um, I feel a bit peckish again as normal. Can't stop eating me. And um, I thought, oh, we'll have a look. I haven't done a beef eater yet. And they've got this eight for eight pound menu. I thought I'd go and have a good look at it and show you all what it's all about. Come on and see. Hi there, we're inside. You had a good look round, and now let's just look at the menu. Okay, so there's the menus. Well, I've, what drew me into the beef eater uh, to show you was this uh, eight dishes under eight pound uh, menu they've got. So I thought, see what's on there, see what savers they've got. So I'm going to go for the starter at uh, three pound uh, twenty nine. I've gone for the breaded mushrooms, and then my main. I haven't actually took one off the 
under eight on there i've took the um, rump steak uh for nine pound 99 um i thought well i'm a film in a beef eater it's got to be a steak really is it because that is their uh bread and butter so um i'm gonna have steak um i was gonna start for the latte nice latte i need to uh, perking it so uh, that's three pound five um yeah it's um looking good in color it's down to some sugar um why isn't there a saucer i think i've seen a beef eater i'm in a in a good marketable restaurant i think you know put it on a a saucer so i can rest my teaspoon there and um you know instead of just putting it on the table to me um just little things like that call me nit nitpicky or what but to me i think when i'm eating out a place like that just a little those small things make the difference anyway i'm drinking the latte and three pound five that's not a bad price you see some now edging over four pounds or up that way and it's it's a fair latte um it's it's got good um substance and color to it and it's creamy tasty so yeah i'm not disappointed with the latte but there you can see that spoon on the table and that it's a bit untidy messy here's my starter three pound 29 yeah now to me that's just some bread and mushrooms put on a plate and to my horror I didn't look at the menu close enough because in small writing I noticed after with barbecue sauce if I knew that I wouldn't have it because the etiquette is of course garlic mayo with your breaded mushrooms but people are obsessed with barbecue now and everybody knows that barbecue just kills food um, that's the uh, tomato soup that um, the better half had I uh, thought I'd show you that it's uh, got croutons in as you can see there's no bread with that you've got the croutons on top of the soup some may rather just have a bit of a roll or a, a, a bit of bread on the side with that so am I going into the mushrooms and trying the mushrooms um, I'd like a bit of lettuce or something on the side of it to my bit of garnish on the side like you normally do um, I'm going to try the barbecue sauce dipping it in Let's try. Yeah. Nah, it's killed it in it. <laughs> I want to taste the mushroom and so and, and barbecue is such a strong, strong sauce. It's it's just something that the Americans put on their food when they burn it all, just to, so you can't taste the burn. But ayo, each their own. Oh, I'm being really brave now. I'm dipping in again. I am really disappointed because I wanted garlic dip. That's one of the. That's what makes. That's what aces it. Your, your breaded mushrooms with your garlic mayo dip. Never mind. Someone at the top at Beef Eater who put designed that menu to put that with there will be hanging their head in shame. Please take note, Beef Eater. Anyway, the mushrooms themselves were cooked perfectly. I've not had any fly off the, the plate across the restaurant yet. So, so yeah, they they have um, fried them perfectly. But I'd like a couple more, but this is £3.29. Their savers menu, if you could call it that. Um, I guess they're not going to chuck out any more on the plate to outdo the main menu. So while I finish devouring them, I'm going to show you the main menu, my steak.
So as a look at the uh, meals, I thought I'd show you uh, the better half's meal. She went for the fish and chips, which was £7.99, under £8. So that's off that menu. To be fair, um, I had a little taste of that, and it was very nice. Fish was lo lovely, succulent, sweet. Batter was perfectly done. And chips and the mushy peas were perfect. And tartar sauce, I think £7.99. That is good value. Um, so I've, I've put a bit of salt and pepper on my steak and, and on my chips. So I'm into the steak now. Uh, I've had it done medium and it looks perfect and it cuts perfect. And let's try. And there's no gristle. That is, that is um, just, just chewing lovely. And that, that's the rump. You can upgrade... Um, I forget how much it is. Just say on the menu, but you can upgrade to a sirloin if you wish. But that that rum is perfect. It's been cooked perfect. It's been rested well, and yes, hardly any juices flowing. So that that's perfect. Uh, chips, lovely and crisp. A good quality of chip. Um, fluffy in the middle, and they've got good colour. And enjoying them. The peas have perfect colour, they look good fresh peas, and they were lovely sweet garden peas. And uh, I do like my peas, so um, I'm happy. And um, that's going down well. Um, 9.99. Um, I've noticed a lot now for that sort of price. And many steak meals now, they're just not giving me that tomato or the onion rings or the mushroom on the side. I always feel it's a bit incomplete with those items on there. But this is on their value menu. Um, but I do miss, miss me tomato and mushroom especially. But, you know, it's, it's cooked perfectly. I can't grumble with that. I'm enjoying this much more than I enjoyed my starter. There's a good look at the steak. As you can see, it's succulent. And I'm eating through this and I haven't come across any gristle at all yet. Um, it's probably one of the best steaks I've had uh, in a while. Uh, and I've done quite a few steaks just recently. Um, but yeah, quality of a rump, that's, that's not bad rump at all. So you see, that's um, vanishing off my plate. So I'm getting through it and it's rare to see me leave anything on the plate. So this plate's going to be... Uh, finished very very shortly and to be fair I'm fairly full now with that starter and main I'm going to skip pudding and I'm going to go out very shortly and give you a prompt virtual review Right, I'm outside. So that's the eight for eight pound menu, as you saw on the menu. Um, I bet half she did go in with the uh, fish and chips. Which I thought was very good. It had the tart sauce, the mushy peas, um, chips and fish. And the fish was a very nice sized fish. Well, um, good chips. And um, yeah, it's very tasty. Um, I did try some. But I thought I would show that just to show what you got. Now, I thought being a beef eater, I'd have to go for a steak. Because that's their bread and butter, really. Uh, the steak is on the, that menu, but it's £9.99. Um, no surprise, no tomato or mushrooms. When uh, most people keep these prices down, they are taking some of the major pieces off the plate. So it did feel a bit undressed, um, but it was a... Um, I, I went for medium, and it was cooked perfectly, that steak. It was a lovely steak. A succulent and the chips were good and the peas were lovely gut fresh garden peas 
so no qualms on that. <coughs> I had a latte, that was for, uh, £3.5, and uh, we went for starters as well. Now I went for the breaded uh, mushroom starter, which was £3.29, uh, and um, I was surprised, barbecue sauce. Um, didn't quite notice it on the menu, it's in very small writing, and I just assumed it would come with a garlic mayo dip, uh, like traditionally it should. Um, very surprised. Come on. Why are so many people obsessed with barbecue? It, it, it kills food, it, it's just horrible. Um, fired taste, and the, you know, it is etiquette to have garlic mayo with breaded mushrooms. So why have they gone for the barbecue? As you could see, the barbecue dip was more or less left. I weren't going to kill my breaded mushrooms. Um, they were cooked perfectly. Um, no, no trouble with them flying off the plate like I have at a previous place. They, they were cooked good, you know, but you got a few. £3.29 with the barbecue sauce. There wasn't a bit of lettuce or garnish on the side, neither. They were just dumped on a plate with that. So I thought, no, they've let the side down a little just in presentation and not having that dip. Um, putting that aside, the steak was good. So, you know, um, on the menu, the eight, eight pound this day and age, cost of living crisis, you know, I think it's uh, reasonable. You've got eight dishes under eight pound, I think fair play to Beef Eater for trying to attract um, value for money. Can't fault them for that. So, I can give this a five. Um, there were little things. I mean, my latte, it was a nice latte. £3.5 is a fair price, but just give a saucer so I can put my, my spoon on the saucer and anything. I don't like dumping stuff on the table. Um, little things like that. You can let the side down. And obviously, the, um, the garlic mushrooms, not having the uh, proper dip with them, and just maybe just a bit sparse um, for that price. I, I, I just feel that's just let the side down a little. Um, but the steak cooked perfectly and that, you know, the actual main and the fish and chips main were good. So, oh, I'm, 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 I'm with the three or a four here. Service was good. You know, they were prompt, they took the plates away, the timing was perfect. I mean, I'm going to judge you so, on your experience, and that starter has stopped it being a four. I'm going to give it three stars. You know, um, because that, that's, that's, that's a deliberate mistake by whoever makes the menu at Beef Eater, to put barbecue dip with bread and mushrooms when it's a tradition to have uh, garlic mayo. Uh, and put barbecue dip are, uh, I think, a fundamental error, and that's that's cost them a star. So, three stars for the beef eater. Um, but putting that aside, it is a good, you know, eight for eight pound menu on there. I think it's well worth the visit. And the fish and chips, if I had the fish and chips alone, you know, um, and, and didn't, you know, have a star or anything, um, or even that steak maybe but with the steak menu for no no tomato or mushroom you know I forgive them not having a mushroom but tomato half a tomato the cheapest chips you know there's not a tomato shortage anymore uh, tomatoes are cheap now don't let you be lied because the supermarkets have kept the price up rather than bringing it down after the tomato shortage um, tomatoes are ample now so there's no reason why you shouldn't have half a tomato on that plate. But yeah, three stars, beef eater. But you know, it, it's got a fair, fair star rating for me, and you know it's well worth a visit for that eight for eight pound menu. Um, thanks for watching. Like I always say, please subscribe. I, re I really love it when you subscribe, and I love the comments when you leave comments, and um, please like. You know. Uh, stay tuned for more more uh, videos uh, on Crompteversial. Like I say, bye for now and stay safe.